Hey guys. and I'm so glad that you're here. If you've never seen me before, I make gift guide videos just like this one throughout the whole entire year. I also have a bunch of other lifestyle, plus size fashion, mommy content, home decor, cooking, you name it, I have it. I would love it if you hit the subscribe button down below and join our little family. And if you haven't already, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, at Sarah England. And I also have a TikTok. I will have everything linked and described down below for you. And um, if you haven't seen any of my videos before, welcome. This is my second video in my Christmas gift guide series. I'm so glad that you're here. If you haven't already seen, I posted this year's What I Got My Kids For Christmas video. That is normally the most requested video on my channel and you guys have been loving it this year and I'm so glad that you have it was so much fun for me to film and so now we have moved on to the second video of the series and that is what I got my husband for Christmas so um, I know this one isn't as popular as what I got my kids for Christmas but I know a lot of you have picky husbands picky spouses picky boyfriends picky men in your life or you just need some gift ideas for the men in your life I love my husband bless his heart he is the light of my life but he is incredible incredibly picky and he has a lot of items that are very specific on his gift list so I wanted to give you guys some good ideas if you are having some if you have some in your life that are you know a little bit on the pickier side and I wanted to share also some ideas not only what I got from this year but really good ideas that were a huge hit last year that I just want to reiterate how good they were because he loved them so Without further ado, let's get started. I first do want to say that um, I get this question asked a lot um, through my gift guide, specifically my husband gift guide, husband stocking stuffer, and then kind of what um, when I after Christmas I do what I got for Christmas video. Um, I get a lot of questions on how we exchange presents, kind of how we started that whole thing. A lot of times, if you are parents, it's really easy to just focus on the kids, which is absolutely not a bad thing, but my husband and I definitely wanted to make each other a priority as well during Christmas and the holiday season. We don't exchange gifts throughout the whole rest of the year, really, um, for like Valentine's Day and our anniversary. Excuse me. <laughs> for Valentine's Day and our anniversary, we typically go on like a little trip or a little getaway. Sometimes we'll give each other a small gift, but that's kind of a special occasion um, and then for our birthdays we normally will exchange at least one gift or typically just one gift and it's nothing like crazy Christmas is the time that we normally splurge on each other and just have a grand old time my husband um, was raised not celebrating Christmas and so now that he has been celebrating it now for almost 10 years he has absolutely loved it and it's so much fun for him to be able just to give gifts and spoil me and love on me and spoil the kids and we just have such a such such a such a such a good time um but i know that sometimes it's kind of hard to broach that topic i've had a lot of you guys say that you make sure that you give your husband gifts and all of your kids gifts and family gifts but a lot of times you get forgotten and that breaks my heart it makes me so sad i know how how good it feels to be appreciated and remembered and thought of and it's always so fun to open presents isn't it it's fun to get presents but it's also just really it just warms your heart when you are acknowledged and you're remembered. And so um, I think a lot of times it's just something with the holiday hustle and bustle just slips their minds. So my biggest tip on this, and this is what my husband and I both do, is we create a board on Pinterest. This way we know exactly what the other person wants and then we add um, our own stuff that we like and want to get for them too that are just like gifts that they don't necessarily ask for but we think they would like. Um, but this way we know exactly what the person wants, sizes, specifications all that type of stuff and gives them a lot of really good ideas to go off of now my husband is tech savvy and so he asked for a lot of very specific tech gift items um, and so it will be like there will be the exact same thing to me same brand same name but like the last number in the item will be like a different number and it'll be a completely different item and so it's really helpful for me to have everything linked so I know exactly which one he wants and so I don't like randomly I'm just looking in the store and like I don't know which one it is so that's really really helpful having everything linked with sizes all that type of stuff is perfect and really really easy and really fun and it's really good to be able to kind of broach that subject if you are like hey I created a Pinterest board uh, for some gift ideas for me this year if you want some ideas 
I'll send it to you and vice versa like be like hey how about we create Pinterest boards together so we have everything linked um, and then we, you know we know what we can get each other that's like the best way I feel like to broach the topic um, and it's something that Jazz and I have now done for many years and we loved it it's the easiest way to do it and so that was my biggest suggestion but I get that question asked almost every single year multiple times and so I just wanted to cover it and kind of why we do it and how we do it and why we think it works really well all right so without further ado let's get started on the gifts all right so we are going to start with pjs i know that's not a super exciting thing to start with but um i did it for my girls so i'm sharing them with you uh these aren't technically pj pjs i don't really get um jazz actual like pajamas anymore because i just feel like he gets more use out of like loungewear and so i found these lounge pants from walmart they are joggers he looks so gosh darn cute in joggers and i love buying them for him um they're kind of like an acid washed vintage style uh pair of pants they're like a gray faded gray i really like them they were 15.97 they're really cute um and then i also got just this basic really lightweight tee from no boundaries walmart as well i really like this one because like those ones that are like kind of flimsy almost they don't really have a lot of structure i love those on him um and it's long it has like a little curved hem i just think it's so cute it's gonna be really comfortable this was 8.96 again these don't scream christmas or like pajamas but there it's an awesome loungewear it's an outfit that he can wear out and about and he's super comfortable in as well as like run errands and stuff like that um and then sleep in if he wants to so those are his pjs i feel like that's a good option if you have a teen in your life or someone who doesn't love like deadpool pajama bottoms or something like that not that there's wrong anything wrong with that i love deadpool but um you know it's like a good it's a good like casual set that also like doubles for an outfit all right so to get on to the actual good stuff i feel like i have a lot of range here which is kind of exciting i have a lot of different like interests covered which i feel like is going to help be helpful so let's get started the first two things i'm going to share with you are um fitness related items this is i think is called an ab roller it's something he had on his list i couldn't tell you much about this to be honest with you um I literally I couldn't tell you much about this it's it's nice I think I think it's a nice quality one um it has nice grips I love that they has has divot where the handles are so your fingers don't like slide around and you can really grip onto it um the actual handles are really nice it's not flimsy the roller wheels seem really nice quality there's a nice grip to them and traction I think it's great I honestly again couldn't tell you if this is a nice one I think it's good though. I did get this from Walmart. It was actually on sale for under $10, I believe. It's nice. I don't know. If you got someone in your life that wants an ab roller, I would suggest this one. Um, this next thing is another um, fitness related thing that he also had on his list. I didn't buy him like, hey, work out. These are things he asked for. Um, but these are unbreakable resistant bands. Um, there are resistant bands or resistant loop bands to go all the way from extra light to extra, extra heavy. Again, not something I'm super familiar with, so I probably should be. Um, but these had really, really high ratings on Amazon. I think they were like an Amazon top rated item. Um, they seem really nice. They are individually wrapped, which I think is really nice. So if, you know, like you go to the gym, you can throw it in your gym bag and know exactly which one it is. And just like it's all wrapped up and ready to go. I think this brand is called What A Fit. I honestly have no idea. But it's nice quality. There's a bunch of bands in there. Um, again, I can't really tell you. Can't really tell you much about it, but it has good reviews. And so if you have someone who's looking for more like workout related items or really enjoys working out or so, I don't know, this may be a good item for you. I will say it'll be nice to wrap. It's a nice box. It'll be good for wrapping. <laughs> All right, this next item may be slightly familiar if you watched my last gift guide um, for him last year. This is something that was on his list again this year. This is one of his top favorite items that he received last year um, and unfortunately it broke about six months in and then I bought another one for him around Easter or Father's Day and it again broke six months in and so he hasn't had it for about a month or so um, and he's been really sad. I didn't want to buy another one because they continue to break but 
he uses them every day multiple times a day and he they're so useful and they have great reviews i just wish that they, they had longer longevity but basically it is a phone um holder and it clamps onto a surface he puts it on the side of the bed but you can put it on a desk you can put it on like a cabinet i mean you can use this for so many things it's really useful i've used it we really like them i just wish they had better longevity this one's a different one than we've had before it is like an l-shaped clamp hook thing it's metal rods honestly i have no idea the longevity of this bad boy but i'm hoping it works well this bends um and then the actual phone holder clamps onto this and it is like a it's a clip dude oh and it's gone it's a clip it opens up like this um but you clamp it on there and it's good to go so we'll see we'll see how long these last again the past two have lasted on average around six months and then it's kaputs so i hate having to rebuy a new one but it's something that he asked for and put three of different ones on his list because he wanted a new one so badly and he uses them so much so he now has another one and I would recommend them like I think they're a really cool really useful tool it's just they don't have the best longevity okay moving on something that probably worked in the fitness category I like trampled the box open um, by accident but he um, switched to a medication recently he started a medication recently that makes him have the worst dry mouth and cotton mouth and so thirsty all of the time so he drinks so much water and the type of medication that it, he's taking requires a lot of water consumption because it can cause dehydration and so he drinks water like crazy so i decided to get him a really nice water bottle that's giant he's been bringing like big gallon jugs to work and i just think it looks really unprofessional so i wanted to get him something it looked a little bit nicer so um bottle bottle actually ended up reaching out to me i was looking for a bottle or water bottle and they ended up reaching out to me and i was like this is perfect timing these are so nice one it comes with a a full-on like like freaking jacket hook thing you can carry around strap and the strap's really nice it's like mesh and padded um of course you can take the strap out I picked this really pretty gray matte color. It comes in a bunch of different colors, but I picked this one for him. I thought it was nice. It was like professional to have in his office. Um, but, and of course it has like the big old handle. But what I really, really liked about this was, and what I find is so different from all the other water bottles that I had looked at, is that there's two different drinking spouts essentially. So the first one is twist off. And what I like about it is one, you can twist off the lid, but it doesn't come out of the actual like holder. So you're not gonna lose the lid. And so you can just drink out of it like a regular water bottle, um, canteen style, or it has an actual drinkable spout that flips up. So you could do either or just depending on your preference, which I just think is really, really cool. So it's huge, it's giant, it's insulated, it's going to keep his water cold, and I know he's really actually going to enjoy it. Um, and I just think it's a bit more professional than bringing in like a plastic gallon water bottle to work every day. So I really like this. I'm honestly truly excited for it. Um, I wouldn't recommend this to you if I didn't like it. Um, like I said, I did get this sent to me. I'm, this video is sponsored. I don't get any commission, nothing. They just send it to me to get my preference and opinion on it, and I really like it. If you do want to save 10%, you can use my code Sarah. Um, again, I don't get any commission, but if you want to save some money, you're welcome to do so. They also sent me this really nice um, insulated tumbler that I was going to give to the girls, but I just can't decide if I want to, if I want to keep it for myself. Um, it's just so pretty. It is this beautiful, pretty ombre. They have a bunch of different colors. It's getting washed out on camera, but it starts as this beautiful light lavender to like a darker purple lavender. It's so stunning. And again, it has like a flip up top like you would use for like coffee drinking. And then here it has a silicone style spout area where you stick a straw in. So you can use your own straws. They do provide a metal straw, aluminum straw, and they also provide you the brush to clean the straw with, which I also think is really nice. This is insulated, so you can use this for um, cold drinks, hot drinks, 
it's perfect for either and it's 18 ounces which is also really nice because I find that you can either get 16 ounces or 20 ounces there's not really an in-between um, and this is like the perfect amount for me and it also has a handle so beautiful I do recommend this brand so far they are stunning and beautiful and nice quality and I feel like these are nice gifts like who knew like I know water bottles have been trendy for a bit now and like giving them as gifts have been trendy but like who knew how who knew how fun they could really be anyway i recommend them so if you're looking for a bottle if you like this is a good teen gift good teen stocking stuffer there you go all right if you've also watched my videos for a while you will know that jazz and i exchange rings every year we started doing that pretty shortly after we got married um i think it was probably the second christmas our married christmas together we started exchanging gifts um or rings to, to each other. My engagement ring was beautiful. Uh, it was moist tonight. It was a beautiful ring, but we didn't spend thousands, thousands of dollars on it. I didn't want that. He didn't want that. It wasn't something that we just, I've never been one for fine jewelry. Um, not that there's anything wrong with it. It's just never been my thing. Um, and one year we just started, like, I think I got pregnant and my finger started swelling and I couldn't fit my ring anymore and I was so sad. And so he bought me a new ring that year. And it started this trend of just exchanging rings back and forth every single year. And it's something that I really love. It's a fun tradition that we have. And it just feels like it, it's like an anniversary gift almost for us. We just continue to show, like, our marriage and each year we have a new ring and just like high I don't know I think it's romantic and sweet and it's something we can pass down and I love it so anyway this year I got him one from the brand King Will it's called the Vow Keeper which I think is really freaking cool comes in a nice box um, this is one that he asked for and it's beautiful it's like tungsten carbonide I think it's really heavy, like it's a heavy duty ring. Like he will feel my love. The weight of my love will be on his finger. Anyway, it's matte. I'll try to show you. It's matte, um, kind of black, and then, or like almost like a satin. I feel like it's pretty matte. And then in the middle of it, it has like a, um, a wood, piece of wood. It's a specific type of wood, if I could remember it. I don't remember it, um, but it's stunning. It was not like crazy expensive. I really like it a lot. I feel like this is a perfect ring for him this year. And again, like it changes every single year, depending on the year, what type of ring we like and stuff like that. He kind of gives me ideas and then I go off of that. But I really like this one. I thought this was really nice. This was on Amazon. I will have, of course, everything linked below that I can, um, but I liked that one. And if you've also seen my, um, give guides before you know that I like to give him watches every single year. So I found this watch on Amazon. Again, this one also had really nice reviews. It's from Ethan Elliott um, and he has quite the collection of watches. Um, and so I found this one and I just thought it was so nice. Um, normally he has like chain length or like a wood link watches. This is the first like leather band watch that I'm giving him. Um, it's so pretty it's like this really dark brown leather and then like a really just basic simple wash face with white and then gold kind of rose gold accents i just think it's so handsome and beautiful um i am a little concerned that the wash face is a, a, a slightly small i want to say it's like 40 i don't know i don't know quite the size but so it's a little it's a little concerning because i he likes bigger watch faces but hopefully he'll still really like it i think this will look really nice with all of his suits for work it's beautiful it's professional again this is one um, that had really good reviews on amazon and so i got him this one and then i also got him one for fun now this one is like kind of like this is a gift that i'm very excited to give him um he loves loves james bond it's one of his favorite movie series. It's some of his favorite memories. And when he was younger, he played Golden Knight for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Um, it was something that kind of kept him company. He was a very lonely kid. I'm telling you way too much. He was a lonely kid and he played a lot by himself and something that kept him company was playing Nintendo 64 Golden Knight. So he has a lot of really good memories with it. And I found a replica a prop watch of the golden eye watch and this would be tell you like your health can you see that 
Anyway, it's not anything super fancy or anything crazy. I don't know if he'll want to wear this out, but I thought this would be something for him to display that he'll really like that he has over on his desk area. And it just, I feel like it's like a sentimental gift that I think he's going to find really cool. I'm so excited about this watch. Again, it's nothing too fancy, nothing too crazy. Um, it's more of a prop watch. It actually does work. Um, but if you have anyone in your life that was a big golden eye lover, back in the day and likes like kind of 90s themed nostalgia i feel like this is a really fun gift it had incredible reviews i got this off at etsy it was from a small shop um and i will have it linked below it came really fast really really happy with it it's such a cool gift and i think he's really gonna like it and i cannot wait to give it to him to go along with his watches it hasn't come in yet but i purchased a watch box so now that he has so many different watches to display i wanted him a place for him to a place to keep them that wasn't gonna get them dusty and yucky and try to preserve them as best as possible. So I bought him a pretty watch box off of Amazon. I haven't gotten it in yet, so I can't honestly tell you the quality. It has good reviews, we will see, but that is um, the thing that I got him and I will of course have a picture and have it linked below. Um, but I thought it was really beautiful and will look really handsome on his desk area with all of his watches displayed. And that's where I think I'm actually going to have this one. Since it came um, in like a regular parcel and a um, bubble wrap, it didn't come in like a case or anything, I think I'm gonna have it in the middle of the watch box and it kind of be like a two for gift. Uh, something that Jazz absolutely loves and something that I love giving him is cologne. This is one of his all-time favorites. This is Burberry London. Um, this is the cologne that he wore on our honeymoon and so every time I smell it I just think of our honeymoon and it gives me so many good memories. I love Burberry colognes. I feel like they are the most handsome, sexiest colognes to me in my opinion. This is Burberry London and we also really love Burberry Brit. They are the best fall and winter colognes they are so spicy and sexy and woodsy i don't have i mean literally all-time favorite colognes so and they're not super expensive that much anymore you can find them all over for a pretty good price i think i actually got this on walmart for like 35 dollars or something and it is 3.3 ounces um i'm excited for him because i he hasn't had this one for a bit and i can't wait to i just I can't now for him to smell it because it's one of my all-time favorites. Moving on, he just started a new job, so these next few gifts are gonna be kind of weird, <laughs> but I think they're kind of fun. These would actually be better stocking stuffers, but I'm just gonna wrap them together. Um, he started a new job, and I figured it would be really nice to kind of soup up his desk space area. Oh, if I can get this open without ripping it. Okay, um, and so I got him a walnut business card holder. This is from a company called Max Gear. Um, and it has little rubber stoppers, so it's not gonna scratch anything. Um, and I know this is, again, like something super basic and nothing super exciting, but he got a really awesome job and a really awesome like position move along with licensing. There's just like a lot that's with it that he's worked really hard for and I'm really proud of him. And so I think it'll be so nice to have his like little business cards with all of his like licensure and all that stuff listed and everything on it and ready to go. Um, and so, I don't know, I think it's really cool. It's just a really basic gift but it's kind of like a nice like you did it I'm so proud of you kind of gift I don't know hopefully he likes it and sees that out of it but I just thought it was nice again these are nice gifts that like are just like easy stocking stuffers to give to the men in your life maybe who work in an office and don't really have anything special or fancy for their desk I also got him just like a basic um, phone holder for his desk this is also a walnut color it's not exactly the exact same color but it will work um and it's just a basic piece of wood and he can just put his phone on it um so it, it is not necessarily just like on his desk and it's kind of away from him but it is still looking kind of like nice and it's like you can see if there's any alerts but it's not like right there or in his hand so i just thought it was nice for his desk this is i mean we have uh had phone holders like this in the past that are metal and we use them all the time we really really like them um but this one is specifically for his office and i just think it looks nice it looks professional and again it's kind of a random present but i'm excited to give it to him all right, moving on to more of the tech items. So my husband is a really, really big gamer. Last year I got him a gaming chair and I will have an insert a clip of how his whole gaming setup looks like. He got, I got him a gaming chair that he absolutely loves. It That was one of his top three items too. It's held up 
wonderfully there has been no problems with it it is really nice quality i highly recommend it and i also got him a um special neon light with his gamer tag and it goes above his desk and those are his top two things i think that he got last year i love how everything turned out but he loves to soup up his desk and add more things to it so he asked for a headstand but he asked for one from a brand called corsair which is his favorite kind of like tech computer gaming brand the thing with that brand is it's so expensive and so often the reviews are terrible but like everyone buys it because it's the brand you know what i'm saying it's like the whole apple thing where everyone buys everything that's apple because it's apple it's kind of like that for him and he just wants it but he doesn't look reviews and i'm like it costs like 150 dollars and it's just a basic stand with rgb lights like there's nothing fancy about it so i instead he may not like this he may be like i wanted the corsair one and that's totally fine but I found this one and I just thought it was so much cooler. Um, it is from a brand called uh, Asterion. It's the Vertex Illuminated Headphone Stand. And I liked it a lot because it is a piece of acrylic. Now I'm not gonna take off the actual like, um, you know, protective film, although it's my favorite feeling in the world to take that thing off. Um, but so that's why it's kind of like frosty looking and it's not super clear, but basically this is like a nice heavy duty piece of acrylic. And then it comes with the base that basically, I'm not going to take everything out, but you put it on there and it lights it all up. So you can change its RGB lighting. So you can change all the light and set it to whatever his lights that he has back there set to it can change you can pulse you can do all different sorts of things and i just think it looks really cool and fully puts the headset on display i will try to make sure i insert pictures to show you exactly what it looks like because this is not a good <laughs> representation um but i just think it looks so gosh darn cool and so much better than the corsair one but i think he wants the corsair for the brand so we'll see we'll see if he's like mm cool but i really wanted the other one and he can take it back and get the other one i mean this one was like a fifth of the price of the corsair one but it had great reviews and i just thought it was so gosh darn cool and so i'm hoping he likes it too um but if you have a gamer in your life who needs a headphone stand this would be an awesome gift for a teen um or for like i said like if you got a professional gamer i know twitch is such a big thing now all of those things i think this is such a cool gift and it looks really awesome this is like the most individual headphone stand that i have seen and i was so excited to get this for him so i'm really pumped for it i hope he likes it this one was more of the, one of the pricier items that I got him this year. And of course it is Corsair. Um, this is the Corsair MG, M65 RGB Ultra Wireless Turnable FPS Gaming Mouse. This thing was expensive, um, but it's something that he really, really wanted and has been wanting a new mouse for a while. And so, voila. Um, I at least did buy him one Corsair thing. He also wants a new set of Corsair headphones and that's on my list and it's like something that I'm like teetering if I'm just going to go ahead and just buy that too or if I'm going to let him buy that with, I'm sure he'll get gift cards and go ahead and buy that himself. But at least he has the maps that he really wanted. This one is new. I think this one just came out. Um, it has great reviews. He's very excited about it. I, again, this is not much I can really describe because I really know nothing about this sort of stuff, but it's got lots of cool clickies, so he's really pumped for it. Again, like I said, I'm debating on that headset. I will have it linked below if you are interested in the one that he wants. He's had, um, I think the other one he has right now is also Corsair. Uh, that's the brand that, like I said, he typically um, goes for, so we will see if I decide to just splurge and get that one for him too. Um, okay, so the last thing that's not here and the most expensive item that I did get and one of the ones that I'm so excited about and I really, really, really hope it comes in in time. He asked for these shoes last year, but they sold out, they were sold out the whole entire time that they were on his list and they never came back in stock. But they, the company brought back a collector's edition version of them, which were triple the price, but they're supposed to be even better quality and they are Mood Lambos like VHS sneakers. He is super, super into 80s 
um, just like the 80s in general. He loves 80s video game style. He loves the 80s like aesthetic. He loves 80s music. He loves 80s like fashion. Um, and so I found, or he found these last year again, and it, but they released collector's editions this year. And he has no idea, I mean, this would not be something that would be on his radar um, that he would expect me to get because they are a pretty penny. But I'm so excited. I ended up ordering them uh, back in November the beginning of November and they still haven't come and I don't know I it was pre-order so I don't know when they are shipping I'm so hoping I get to them get them for him before Christmas because I could cannot wait to see his face open them up on Christmas but I will have them linked below and the picture and everything they're so freaking cool and if you are a retro 80s lover or just like I mean they still give me like 90s vibes too because they're like VHS tapes I will have them linked. They're so freaking cool and I love them and I'm so excited for him for him to wear them. I think they're so awesome. So I guess that is it for you guys. I think that I completed it. This year is like I'm excited. I'm excited for a lot of things, but I'm also kind of nervous because I kind of took I kind of took a, a couple of like kind of took a couple risks, I guess I would say. So um, but I hope you enjoyed this video and you got some good ideas. I will also have a stocking stuffer gift guide for him coming up really soon. I'm super excited for his stocking stuffers this year. I found some really fun things that I think he's really going to like. And my girl stocking stuffer gift guides will be after this video. So keep an eye out. I've been waiting for a package to come in for them for like ever. So hopefully it comes in soon um, so I can film that video for you guys. I'm excited to share with you guys what I got for their stockings. So if you are needing stocking stuffers, those videos are coming up. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope I gave you some great ideas and I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.